Get this going. What's up, my people? This is your boy DJ Big Rich here in the studio of Platform Media International. And I'm just gonna keep it real with these two gentlemen. Look, on my left is an international artist all the way from Atlanta, Georgia. This guy is invented in my city, and I can't let him go without doing an interview with him. He's an entertainer, he's an artist. Keep it moving, packing lock. If you wanna know more about this guy, man. It's all happening right now, and he is... My name is Cyan. Cyan, and on my right, one and only, man. This guy played at this show down in Van City, a great singer, a great performer. He's your own, man, Van City, and he is... NRTH Sound, a.k.a. North. North, man. You know, what we're going to do here today, we're just going to keep it real. We're just going to know these gentlemen, you know, get to know them. This guy, you know, man, he performed... With you, right? Yeah, we want to thank you too. He came out and he spun for us last summer. Yeah, and it was an awesome time. Man. We had such a good time. That was my first time meeting you, man. Your music was just phenomenal, man. Thanks. Bro. And that particular song I played so many times. Keep it moving. Yeah, no, no parking, parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you gotta check it out, man. But you gonna know more about these two guys, you know? So, man, what bring to our city, man? Well, I come here. I'm actually working with. Jason Mills. Yeah. He's a film producer. Yeah. And he make movies. His movies are available on Amazon Prime. I come here to work with him. Mills Picture Studio. Mills Picture Mills. Mills. Mills Picture Studios. Yeah. And I come here to work with him on the project. Wow. Hey, you know what? Every time you're in the city, I always see you hanging out with my guy. Hey, man. <laughs> when you're a friend of mine, yeah. I always keep in touch. Yeah, you know. I that never thing. ever break friendship. This guy reached out to me on Instagram, actually, of all places. And at first, I didn't even believe he was wow. real. I was like, this guy's going to come up to Vancouver. Who does that? <laughs> but he did. I couldn't believe it. It yeah. shocked me. I was like, this guy is real. Like, he actually, he means what he says. He's He's got a, a history of accomplishing good things, and he tries to elevate everybody. So, are yeah, you telling me you didn't know him? No. You just hook up on Instagram and I grew the up on a farm history. in the middle of nowhere. I don't know anybody. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes people reach out to me, sometimes like this guy's a scam. Well, yeah, yeah, right. There's a lot of scam going on nowadays. You, yeah. You'd right. be panicking like, hey, I ain't know I, I don't know you, right? Well, I'm the kind of person like this. I don't care about how many views you got, I don't care how many likes you got, that don't mm -hmm. matter to me. That's right. If I like your music, I like your music. I'm from the That's old right. school. You know what? That's keeping it real right real. there. You know what I'm saying? Because we are all brothers, man. All no matter brothers. where you're from, white, black, we all got to keep it real, Absolutely. work with one another, elevate one another. So, that being said, people want to know who you are. Well, I'm a very positive person. Um, I'm an international entertainer. I travel around the world doing shows. You know, first first thing I am, I'm an honest man. Honest man, yeah. That's what that goes a long way. I don't give, I don't care how much money you got. Yeah. But if can you treat people the way they should be treated? Can you treat a person like a person? That's true. That's the most important thing about me. Yeah. I do a lot of stuff. I act. Yeah. I, uh, I write music. I write all types of music. I um, I produce. You know, I own a couple of businesses. Yeah. I do a lot of things, but at the same time, I'm an honest person. We need more honest people in our honest industry. That's we right. got too much corruption. We got things that don't need to be in our industry that's taking over our industry, and it's destroying the people. It's causing a state of depression. Yeah. Because people are just putting everything they got into this music business, mm -hmm. and they're being lied to, and their money is just being taken, and they don't get the success that you promised. That's you feel true. me? So I just feel like we need honest people. I want to make the I want to make the sharp part of the pyramid a positive person. We That's need that. There's too many negative people mm -hmm. running yeah. things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know what? I think the music, the music industry is very difficult, man. It's, it's a difficult place to be and to get few honest people who are trying to set it straight for people. I've seen people who give their whole life just trying to achieve being a musician or being an, you know, an actor or an actress, right? And uh, people just use that opportunity and rob them, and then at the end of the day, they fall into depression, like you said, you know? Mm -hmm. So They don't even know it's depression. Yeah. They don't know they're they a victim of depression. They think that, oh, I just didn't make it. No, 
it's not the way it used to be. If you got talent and you got skill, mm -hmm. you should get an opportunity to do what you love. Yeah. See, this is how I look at it. You got things you do for money, then you got your passion. You got things you do for money, and then you got your passion. Uh, people get so caught up in doing things for money, they never fulfill their passion. Now, we wow, needed certain deep. people to do certain things in the, in the past to make things better for us now. What if they just kept working the same job they was working? We would, be, we would, we would, we would have lost out on a lot of good music. Yeah. A lot of changes that people risk their lives to mm -hmm, make, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. Well, Martin Luther King was in college. He worked a regular job at a donut job. shop. What if he kept working in that donut shop and never said, "I'm gonna go to college mm -hmm. and I'm gonna make a change for society." He he risked his life, but he did follow his passion. Passion. I follow my passion. You know, when I was young, I was uh, 19 years old. I worked at UPS delivering packages. No, I was 18. 18. I worked at UPS delivering packages. Mm -hmm. My father told me, you got a good job. You finna drive the brown truck, you're going to be making $22 an hour. Man, you better keep that job. Those old pies, the old pies, man. Happy. He was happy. Boy, <laughs> well, you didn't made it. And I got an opportunity to go overseas. Yeah. He was like, that hip-hop stuff? I was like, yeah. You yeah. finna go do that? I was like, yeah. Man, you finna mess a job up to go over there and do that? I didn't know what I was making. Yeah. All I know was I was successful was in the successful. audition I yeah. did. Uh -huh. Because when I was uh, started out doing music, we had to do auditions. Mm -hmm. You had to go before judges and you had to perform and, and they had to say, okay, we want you on to be the opening act. Yeah. It's not that way anymore. Yeah, now it's, it's so saying, different now. It's, YouTube, it's all about money. <laughs> yeah, money. It's yeah. all about money. And yeah. we can't make the music industry about money. money. Because the, the people that you love the most in hip hop, they were poor people. You, you understand? Yeah, 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 they yeah, was yeah, poor yeah, people. I believe you. It's yeah. changed too now because it's 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 like it's like a blessing and a curse. I would have never been able to do music yeah. twenty years ago. Absolutely. And and there's a lot of people who are in a position where they can make music and they see it as a threat. But nowadays, if you want to do something you love, it's about being able to transform who you are on the yeah. dime. And it's about finding a place where you can hold your ground and you can say, "This is who I am," but also be able to say, "Well, this is who I am." But I can also do this. Yeah, yeah. And and it's like on on the one hand, like I have a cousin who um, his dad worked really hard in the lumber industry, and his dad works up north, and he's gone all the time. And my cousin is able to to do like a conventional kind of try to do a career in music, right? Mm -hmm. Like he went to he went to England, and and he's really good at playing violin and stuff, and mm -hmm. and he's an awesome musician. And um, and for him, you know, the conventional way of doing doing it might be able to work for him at one point, maybe. Yeah. But for people who don't have someone who's pushing them into music and don't have a background in it yeah. and don't have someone who's going to help them all to get there, yeah. nowadays, it, it's like a miracle. It's now, a miracle, man. I can go buy a laptop. I got yeah. my first laptop when I was like 20 or something. Yeah. And, and I was just playing around on it, you know. I didn't need anybody to teach me anything. I, I got a guitar at some point. I moved to Calgary when yeah. I was like 17 or something, and, yeah. I, and I learned how to, I, I wanted to be Bob Dylan. Yeah. I'm, I'm yeah. Learning yeah. how to play. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Didn't, you know, I, I, and obviously I'm not Bob Dylan. Yeah, but, but, but I see you still know you still know your way around. I think what it boils down to is um, your job is there to support your passion. So your job is not what your true worth is. Your true worth is in your passion. Absolutely. But you can still get a job and still be a regular person but you have a vision, and you use your job to support your passion. And when I listen to somebody actors that are actors and actresses, like hey, you know what they used to do mm -hmm. and where they are now, mm -hmm. you can tell that they were using whatever means they had around them at a particular time to elevate themselves to a place where they are now. So. You don't want to be too comfortable where you are, Absolutely. but you also never settle. Yeah, yeah, never settle. But you also right. live in the moment. And you know where? Okay, this is who I am right now. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna do what I'm doing mm -hmm. to get to where I'm gonna go. Mm -hmm. But I'm still opening my eyes and ears and stuff for opportunity, right? But nowadays people want to jump from one to ten. Yeah. <laughs> but the, the problem right? is when you follow the steps. Yeah. You don't get the results. So no. what if your mother told you, you take yeah. some eggs, mm -hmm. you take some flour, mm -hmm. you take some milk, and yeah. you're going to make pancakes. Then you take eggs, you take milk, you take flowers, and you don't get pancakes. That's the problem that we're having. Yeah. <laughs> they, didn't, they didn't took it, they didn't made it where, where, see, we can't make it about money. If we make music about money, yeah. people that's not really good at it want to have an opportunity they don't deserve. Just saying that, I'll just give you a little bit about the whole DJ thing, how I started, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. So it's true that you say, don't make music. Don't. The idea, you want to make money. Mm -hmm. 
But that's not the main focus. Mm -hmm. Because the focus is being better, doing what you're doing to the highest ability. So when I started, it's like I didn't I wasn't really doing it about the money. Mm -hmm. I love music. I have good ears for music, even though I didn't know how to play, but I can listen to a song and I tell you something is missing. Because mm -hmm. that's how I sleep with music, I get up with music, I just have so much passion, right? Mm -hmm. So and then we had an opportunity to have an event. Mm -hmm. And that event would never have money to pay for a DJ. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, you know what? I can, I can land this, right? Mm -hmm. So I went on YouTube, follow TRM, DJ TRM. Mm -hmm. and, you know, that was the first person that popped up. And the rest is history. Really? But then when I, yeah, that's it. That's how it happened. 2017, man. I'm not kidding. Oh, really? Yeah. Wait a minute. We performed in 2018. <laughs> yeah, 2017. Oh, one man, year you were rocking when you yeah, were Yeah, I'm telling you. So, what I'm trying to say, right? It's in you. Yeah. It's, it's in me. I love music. Even playing guitar. I just yeah. learned to play guitar from YouTube. I'm not good. Like you said, I'm not the best, but I learned to play even keep piano, everything from mm. YouTube. Because I have the passion for music you in want me. It. I what you want, want to, to do, do it. it. That's what I'm saying. And then... When I started DJing, a lot of people didn't believe in me because, mm -hmm. like, they never seen me DJ before. So I started DJing some places for free mm -hmm. or for little nothing. Mm -hmm. I didn't put the money first. I put a relationship first. Absolutely. And then from the relationship, but then I was st I still prepared myself. I didn't just go learn on YouTube and start playing right away. I took about almost three, four, five months and practiced. Bought my first new Mac for $100 from Vancouver Paraglades, yeah. set it up, and I just practice learning baby scratch, transition, this and that, prepare myself. And then when I had that first show, you know, I was ready. Mm -hmm. So you prepare yourself, and then when the opportunity that's comes, true. hey, you're ready. Absolutely. And then that's where it all happens, right? And I got, I have a lot of respect for DJs. Yeah. Because there's a lot of people who create stuff, Yeah. and, and they do it like, you know, music has a place for everybody. Yeah. But DJs are people who, who make something, Yeah. And then they actually figure out, I'm going to give this to the community. Yes, Whereas a lot of people make music, like me, I can be in my basement. Well, I don't have a basement. Okay, I can be somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can be in a coffee shop. I can be making music all the time. Yeah. And, you know, it's it might not even get out there, right? Yeah. But a DJ is a person, we'll you know. Call it out. And, and and the DJs, you guys are brave. Yeah, you guys are brave. The yeah. DJs are the key. Yeah. See, yeah. people yeah. don't understand this. A, a, a lot of things that have happened because of bad DJs. Yeah. They said, when I contact DJs in Atlanta, they say, what's your budget? I say, what? They say, what's your budget? To play your song. Yeah, I said, what you mean? My, I said, you going to listen to the song? They said, well, what's your budget? I said, That's listen, brutal. you're not a good DJ. Yeah. Just even say that. Yeah. Because I know how to DJ, believe it or not. Yeah. Yeah. I don't do it because mm -hmm. I, I got a DJ. Mm -hmm. My DJ was in the battles with Jazzy Jeff. He's about oh. 50 years old, but he, he can work on all. Yeah. Man, he can make 12s. We, we, if we go to a show, we, we play for 45 minutes, and I promise you, you, you'll be like, wow, his name is DJ Love, shout out to him. Yeah. And that's my, I have a personal DJ. I have a staff. That's the, see, see, I never cheat anyone, and mm. I have a staff. I'm responsible for other people's People. families. Yeah. So I got to go make money with music. If you don't know that, you know, just tell you know, the viewers uh, some, some of the shows you're opening for, some of the places you play, so okay. they know definitely who you are. In 2005, mm -hmm. I opened up for the Black Eyed Peas Black in the IP. Philippines, overseas. Mm -hmm. That's my. That was the show I left. Oh, you went to go, get, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. I came back with a quarter million dollars. I don't mind telling you. Yeah. It's money. It's money, of course. This is a billion dollar industry. Yeah. Get your cut. Yes. Don't let nobody tell you you're not supposed to get your money. That's right. This is a billion dollar industry. You better get your you cut. You heard? Don't let somebody keep telling you you're supposed to for free. <laughs> yeah. Because let me tell you something. I don't know how it works here. Yeah. But in America, it's a tax write off for entertainment. Yeah. So when they put you on stage and say they can't pay you, that's bull. Boy, yeah. Because that is, it, there's a tax write off. They pay the DJ yeah. and they pay the entertainment. That's they right. pay for inter I mean, it's a tax right off. They don't so pay they, you because they don't respect they you. They don't respect you. Hey, that's true. You somebody called a higher DJ. They want to give you. They will pay. I I just paid a wedding. This guy pay eight thousand dollars for a photographer to cover. But you want to pay me mm -hmm. mm -mm. less than a thousand dollars. Yeah, it don't work like that. That's I mean, I yeah, man. <laughs> They don't because really you. you can have the photographer you want. If mm. I don't play good music, your party is whack. Exactly. <laughs> you can buy all the food. You can you can you can have the best food. Mm. What keep the party is the DJ. That's the that's the grassroots of your party. Big Rich, let me explain something to you. They asked me to come to Tanzania, Africa, mm -hmm. and I said I want fifty thousand dollars. They said fifty thousand dollars. I said yeah, fifty thousand mm -hmm. dollars for what to perform? Yeah. I said I'm performing in front of sixty thousand people. Yeah. 
and you're not giving me ten. If you gave me ten dollars a head for sixty thousand people, how much money is that? That's, That's six hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, right? but yeah. you're not charging ten dollars a head. Yeah, you're charging a hundred dollars a head. Yeah. So how much money he's making? He's making six million dollars, and I'm asking for fifty, and you're telling me that that's too much money. <laughs> See what it's I'm a, talking it's about? A blatant, yeah. It's a blatant situation of disrespect. Yeah, with disrespect. And he disrespect. said, well, now you broke it down to me like that. Okay. Yeah. Now you broke it down to me like, I see what you're saying. I said, listen, I've been doing this since 2001. I went on my first major tour in 2005. So, Black like Peas, and then... I didn't open up for a little bit of everybody. I can name them. Yeah. But, uh... I saw, I, I saw one of your videos, you opened up with T.I. T.I., 2 Chains, two everybody. Chains. You know, I didn't open up for a little bit of everybody, but Black Eyed Peas Black is, was, was my best, biggest accomplishment. You know why that was? Yeah. Because they did the Super Bowl mm. but after I opened up for them. You know, they, uh, but they—that's yeah, big. Yeah, that, to me. That's huge, Elevate. man. That's big. That's why you, you call know. it elevate. I, 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 listen, I can say I open up for the Black Eyed Peas. People be ready to sign the contract yeah. because they know you know how to perform in front yeah. of an arena. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. can rock an arena. Yeah. You, you feel me? Yeah, I can yeah. perform in front of. I'm capable of performing in front of eighty thousand people, people. Yeah. with the right DJ. Though. DJ. I gotta have the right yeah, DJ. Man. Eighty thousand. Me DJ and my DJ rocks. <laughs> I gotta have the right DJ. Yeah, now you yeah, gotta yeah. fly my DJ yeah, and his equipment. Oh yeah. You know you got to. Ooh, you man. fly us there. Yeah. You fly. My DJ before we do anything. We first of all we two hours early. He go. He go communicate with the sound man. Yeah. Yeah. He can do it himself if yeah. you need him to. Yeah. But this. Get the I need sound. somebody to be responsible for my sound. Yeah. I need to go to one person and say, yeah. why this don't sound like yeah. this. Yeah. He bought the top of the line microphones. Yeah. You feel me? I need somebody to be responsible for my sound. For I can't sound. just have anybody up there just pop a CD in and, and just say, yeah, yeah, no. I would do that yeah. in certain events. Event, yeah. Certain events. Yeah. I would do that. If I'm coming to do it, deal with a friend, they say yeah. I want a budget. Yeah, yeah. I can't really pay you like that. Yeah. But I need, but you, my friend. Yeah. I will be there and I'll perform to the best of my abilities Support. with what you got. Yeah. Because you're lying. a friend. <laughs> yeah. But if this, if this, if this business, it's business. It's business, business, man. I need my, I need my five K. You need your moolah. I need my five K. I need my five K. And you gotta know who to trust too, yeah. because there's so many people out there, especially now with social media. Like, there's not a big age difference between us. Absolutely not. But I ain't gonna call my age, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I don't talk to you. Either. But like, I, you know, being up here yeah. and being in a town with literally like two thousand people, yeah. everything that I did was through social media and stuff. Social and there's people who will come, come, to, they'll come to you and they'll tell you all kinds of stuff. I wasted my time for like. In case they're listening to this, I shouldn't mention any names. But yeah. I, you know, there's labels that that, yeah. that get you, and those labels to be grounded. Yeah, but those labels love to reach out to you, but yeah. then they don't do anything. They don't do anything. No, they want to bookshelf you. They want to exactly. make sure you're not competition for their artists. Yeah, that's why I don't sign with labels, and yeah. I don't have management. What I have is this: yeah. I have reps but, everywhere I go. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. like I, I, this, this is what I'm doing. I'm, yeah. I'm gonna tell you because I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna come here. I don't want no, nobody, nobody that's supporting you. Yeah. Anybody a friend of you yeah. is a friend of me, and these yeah. are your friends. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah that's, that's what right. I'm yeah. saying. Yeah. So yeah. I'm yeah. gonna tell you what, what I do. Yeah. I go to certain places mm -hmm. around the world. I have a rep in different places around the world. Mm -hmm. Like when I played Bangkok last mm -hmm. year, mm -hmm. I had a rep, Bangkok Invaders, mm -hmm. the whole DJ team. They all started playing my song, No Parking Lot, two months before I got there. Before you I got said, there. all I need you to do is play this song two months before I get here. You book my shows, mm -hmm. whatever, how, how much you charge. I said, for you, you book whatever you want and you get 20%. You get 20%. They say, what? I said, you're a DJ. Yeah. And if you DJ behind me, I'm gonna give you thirty yeah. percent. So you making thirty percent of whatever, oh, whatever I get. You make, yeah. They said, "Well, what you?" I said, "No, it's what you want." Yeah, get what you can get. Fair enough. Well, well I don't, I don't, I don't. I said, "See, no, no, you, you, you ain't ready for the business. Yeah, you ain't ready. Is you ready for this business? I'm, I'm gonna fly there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. a task right off for me. Yeah. I own a, a, a record label. Yeah, yeah. So me flying, that's, yeah. that's a task right off. Yeah. But I'm gonna fly there, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna perform. You gonna be my DJ. You gonna be responsible for my sound. Yeah. We gonna rehearse for two hours. Yeah. In the hotel lobby. Get it right. In a, in a conference room mm -hmm. and get it right. And we, when I say it's right, mm -hmm. we gonna present it to the people. Yeah. And we gonna change everything. I'm taking you to another level. Yeah. I'm never gonna give you money, but I will give you opportunity. Opportunity. Mm -hmm. So when I fly there, I get there. Everybody know the song. I said I'm not going up. It's not an open mic. Mm -hmm. I'm not going on stage and performing and nobody know my music. Me, yeah, yeah, that's the no, worst that's the thing. <laughs> Everybody be looking at. Okay. That's the worst thing to get on stage. And you say, oh, I'm gonna perform this song. I hope y'all like it. <laughs> no, I want when I go on, when I walked on that stage. People. They said this is Cyan. They didn't know my name at yeah, first. They yeah. said, oh, he got he, this. Is the guy with the song, no parking lot. Nobody. Everybody. Oh, 
They go crazy. They know the song that yeah. DJ's been playing for yeah. two months. Yeah. Mixing it in with everything yeah. else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People in Asia and parts yeah. of they're hungry for North American music. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, and that brings me to my next question, right? Okay. So when you put in your work, when you when you when you're in the studio or you're behind the camera or you put you know, entrepreneurship or whatever you're doing. What, what what you aim to achieve, you know? Because I mean, you work with passion, you know, but there's you're trying to get something, you're trying to get a message out, and I know you said some of that in whatever you said right now. But what what is your aim? What do you okay. try to? I just want people to feel what I feel. Like the song we got called Entertain. We just mm -hmm. shot most of the video. Yeah, the one day. Yeah, yeah. 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 We, we shot most of the video. Guy. But but uh, I just want them to feel what I feel. My goal is to make you feel what I feel. I don't care if, if I wake up this morning and mm -hmm. I feel like I'm mad at a girl, I'm gonna go in the studio and make a song talking about me being mad at a girl and why I'm mad at the girl. Mm -hmm. If I feel like if, if my mother passed away or my grandma passed away, I wanna make a song describing how she made me feel and I'm gonna present it to the world. And if you feel like I feel, maybe we can, maybe I can entertain you. Yeah. I'm an entertainer. Entertainer. That's why they call me the international entertainer Inter yeah. because when I opened up for T.I., mm -hmm. the song I had to do was a song that was real rough. Because mm -hmm. T.I. was rough at the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. We, you know, he, was, he had everybody in there going crazy. He had a bottle in his hand. You know what I'm saying? So I had to go do my song called mm -hmm. Y'all Don't Want What Y'all Asking For. Mm -hmm. And it's a very rough song mm -hmm. with a lot of curse and a lot of rugged. Mm -hmm. I'm an entertainer. It's my job to entertain. Mm -hmm. I don't care what crowd you put me in front of. You. I got to look at them. That's if it. I see a baby there, okay, got to change what I'm doing. <laughs> I see some ba okay, no, okay, 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 no cursing, no cursing. Then I said, okay, I'm entertaining. I do the same thing when I play at a show. Mm -hmm. I people are like, oh, I want you to play this, that. I'm not get cool. I always like to ask my customer, give me what are your music preference, right? Exactly. Who are your audience? What the age range? So if you know old old school, whatever, then I know, right? The young, you know. And then when I get there. I see the crowd, mm -hmm. I scratch everything, I, you know, mm -hmm. I just go with the floor. I go, who's on the floor, you know, the music they're vibing to, if it's a miss, that's how I roll, I never right? forgot you from the day you get yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, this dude, I, had to, I was like, I had to be outside, you know, we was outside, we were doing yeah. promo on the street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, this, I gotta go out there. Yeah, yeah so I he come out there. Yeah, I'm like, man, he came out there, you are yeah, 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 yeah. This guy in Quiet Storm. This dude, uh, yeah, Quiet Storm as well. Yeah. You, 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 we were at that was uh, uh, Ola Bane stuff when we had that uh, the yeah. Peacock yeah, This guy, yeah. out there. Oh, I see how that beat up. That's what I'm saying. The coolest dance ever. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah, right. You want a dance contest, man? That was not supposed to happen. <laughs> and yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, something caused that. I, I ain't but gonna you, say the name. You, just right? be yourself. you be yourself. Yeah, you, you be, be yourself. yourself. Yeah. You have fun. You entertain. That's yeah. it. But that's yeah. to answer your question. But yeah. I just entertain. And that's an important part of art. And I don't care what people want to call it. music, yeah. film, anything like that. Like it, you have an audience, and art is about. If, if you don't have an audience, yeah. you don't have art. You like, have, yeah. The guy that we did a music video with, yeah. Jason Mills, I like in the past, he's done music videos for me. Oh, okay. All acting a movie for him, and then he, yeah. he's like bartering. He did the music video for us. This guy was laughing so hard when we got back in the car because he worked the full day, and then I gave him some old bricks yeah. and some plates with airplanes on them. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah, no, it's, man. Like, it's, it's a bartering system. Yeah. It's, 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 really, it's, it's literally it's just like this. It's a bartering system. Yeah. But, but that, sorry, mm -hmm. but I'll just finish the point I was going to make, though. Mm -hmm. But that guy... And us all too, yeah. like that guy when he when he reads the reviews to a movie he puts out, he'll make a movie for like nine hundred bucks, wow. and he'll get it on Amazon Prime, and people will will leave wow. a review. This must be low budget. Or the end didn't make sense. This guy just made the movie for that much, yeah. and he's selling wow. it. Absolutely. You know, and and if you can treat like who cares what some critic says or who cares what yeah. somebody who thinks they're above you on the art. Oh yeah, yeah. They want to detect. Yeah. What, you know what you gotta do, how it gotta be. Yeah. You know we all not the same, man. We all don't have we don't have the same vision. Yeah. You know we don't we're not targeting the same people. You know. So exactly. if I if I have a budget, and I can work with my budget and put something good. Some of the best music. Yeah. They were done in like what. 10 minutes, 20 minutes. Oh, yeah, sure. They were on a laptop. We made a song. The song <laughs> entertained. We went to the studio and started playing around. I said, listen, it's a soft rock song. I wanted to be like a, someone like a soft rock song. I'm a rap. And he was like, well, don't you want a trap beat or something? I said, I don't need that. I'm a real rapper. Yeah. I write my own music. Yeah. Nobody write my music. Anytime you hear my voice, right. I write. No, no. I think it was Ben said oh, that. Oh, Ben said that. But he was like, you, don't, you ain't going to use a trap. I thought, no, listen, trust me. I'm going to make what I feel. This is what I feel. Yeah. This is what I feel. People going to love it. When you hear it time, you're going to love it, but you're going to love it different than you love it in the parking lot. Yeah, yeah. And they're going to be like, no parking lot. No yeah. parking lot. I had a whole place going, keep it. Yeah, yeah. Moving. Moving. 
keep it moving. You know what I'm saying? That. No, that, yeah, that's, 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 like, that's how that goes. That's more like an anthem. That's yeah. like an anthem. Yeah. No like parking a rider, lot. Kind of Absolutely. Rider like no parking lot mean keep it moving. No parking lot. That's for all the negative energy. Yeah. Anybody yeah. don't need to be here. Yeah. We don't got no traffic jam. You don't yeah. got to be here. You ain't stuck here. Yeah, yeah. Keep it moving. No parking lot. So, I know I, I wasn't going to go there, but, you know, you're from Atlanta. You're from the, you're from the U.S. And, you know, we hear, we watch TV. We see what goes on on, um, on the Internet, you know. Um, so, you know, like being a, 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 an, art, an artist, like a, a hip-hop um most of what you say and what you you, you you try to portray in your music sometimes reflect what you're going through, your current situation, like what is political, social. So what is what what does your music, you know, um, really say to some of the current things that is going on, especially in the US, like especially with black brothers, you know, getting shot and getting poor for no reason. So many things going on in the mm. state. We have Dan and John we gotta deal with. Mm. All stuff. So how does your music, you know, relate to some of the current political and social affairs? Okay, okay. well my state? album yeah. title mm. Buy Your Man Man. 18 tracks. Yeah. You know why I call this album Buy Your Man Man? No. Because if you say the things that I was saying on these on this album, mm -hmm. you're risking your life. So to risk your life, you got to be a madman. And the things I'm talking about on this album, about Boy of a Madman. Buy Your Man Buy Your Man Man. Okay. okay. But, but wait, wait, wait. the things, that, they, they call me a madman because yeah. the things I'm saying, you're risking your life. Yeah. This is the stuff that Martin Luther King got killed for. Mega Evans got killed for. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So you asking me that? Let me tell you something. My grandmother, her brother was killed in a literature because they say he raped a white woman. Mm -hmm. So this stuff that, that they showing on news, mm -hmm. it, it been going on. It's, it's, it's not nothing it's, it's, new. It's not, it's not, it's it's not nothing, nothing new. new. And, and you know, I can't tell you mm -hmm. which party Democratic or Republican Party is mm -hmm. going to be more sufficient and more successful towards us because most politicians mm -hmm. are liars. Yeah. So I can't tell you if they telling the truth. I can tell you this though. Mm -hmm. My favorite president yeah. was um, Truman. Harry S. Truman. Truman yeah. That was my favorite president. Why not? Because he gave Why? black people civil rights. So I mean, anybody was, and people listening right now will be like, okay. Why is he saying that? I thought it was Barack Obama. <laughs> I love Barack Obama yeah, yeah, yeah. until the situation with Muammar Gaddafi. <clears throat> okay. I didn't appreciate that, and I told them that when that happened. Mm -hmm. And when he when when that happened, I said, "You telling me you're finna go kill a man that when you have a baby mm -hmm. in Libya, you get ten thousand dollars for having a baby. They had clean water, they had a big supply of oil, and he was starting his own currency." This is a man you go kill. That's not a. That's, he don't sound like a threat to me. Mm -hmm. I think we have bigger threats than that. And right in America, you feel me? The biggest terrorist group in the world is the Ku Klux Klan. Yeah. You feel me? So that that's just the truth. Yeah. I can't say Barack Obama is my favorite president because of that particular situation. That's situation. And I just gotta be honest. Now Donald Trump is a whole different story. I, don't <laughs> know about that. I ain't gonna lie. That's all. <laughs> But the truth is this, this is a billionaire. You don't put a spoiled man into politics. No. You take a rich man and put him into politics, it's a, it's a video game to him. Yeah. He's just playing with his toys. That's what you do. He's spoiled. Mm -hmm. You can't take, we should have had Bernie Sanders as our president. Look, po yeah. Politics is like an interest for me. I, yeah. I love politics. Mm -hmm. And people should not be scared of politics. People should try, you know, it's really scary nowadays to think that when you go on the internet and try to read something, you have no idea if it's real because yeah. there's so much fake news, there's so much yeah. uh, BS out there, you Going know. On, yeah. But people shouldn't be scared and they should try to look at something, like imagine you're reading like a textbook for science class or something, you know, just keep a clear head, read it and try to learn something. And when people get caught up in, in emotions is when politics goes crazy yeah. because it's really hard to see through it. But, you know, in the entire world, there's a separation between politics as being like a foreign thing mm -hmm. and it keeps people from voting, it keeps people from educating themselves. It's like a wall that gets put up and everyone blames the other side for putting up the wall. But all it takes is, is someone to look over that wall and you can see that there's, it's possible for anybody to learn about politics and, and to get yeah. into it. And I mean, it's, well, let me explain something to you. Muammar Gaddafi meant a lot to me, and I'll tell you why. He helped fund the Million Man March, first thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's the first thing. Mm -hmm. He helped free Nelson Mandela. Yeah. That's not a guy yeah. that deserved yeah. to die like that. No. I'm sorry. Now, I know he did wrong things, like yeah. we all do. 
But just for that alone, yeah, yeah. I didn't want to see him die like that. So, so, so it ain't no people get mad. You don't like Obama? Who you think you is? No, listen. First of all, I think that I'm not. So I'm not saying I like Obama. I can't say Obama's my favorite president. Though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? At the end of the day, like you said, for me, um, I don't like politics because some of the reason you say the politician will say whatever they can say to get whatever they want to get, and when they get there, they do something completely different. Mm -hmm. Just because they want to get the vote. Well, that's called living in a democracy. And, it's yeah, and let me tell you something. Part. I'm going to tell you this, and this is true. When Barack Obama became president, the uh, white racist people started killing black people because he was president. It ain't his fault. Mm -hmm. But I just noticed that a lot of this stuff started when he was president, and I just feel like he could have did more to stop it. Mm. And to tell you the truth, Trump is not doing anything either. No. And I understand that he's not doing anything, but I don't I don't really don't expect Trump to do so much. Yeah. Because well, all he's trying to do is protect his rich buddies. There's a, it. it's a serious <laughs> problem with, with, with education too though. The fact that you have guys going into a bar in the States and killing two sick people or Sikh people, however you want to pronounce it, wearing a turban and saying, you know, F Islam. Yeah. Like, that's not even an Islamic person. <laughs> because it, it just a you know people are so um, ignorant to things they don't understand. How same thing go. with uh, with Africa. It's like I'm from Liberia, I'm from West Africa, okay. and I, I I went I went to the state, um, and I saw some places. Oh, like this is like Africa. This is like some of the toughest neighborhood even place. Like you know, messy and whatever. I'm like man, this is America. Mm -hmm. When I first came here. And I came down to Vancouver, well, down to Vancouver, and I came on history, and I went for a walk. I was surprised to see people begging for money on the street. I thought, I thought this was heaven, man. I thought everybody walking on, like, gold or whatever. And I saw a whole different picture. I'm like, holy, I'm giving somebody money on the street? Nobody would believe that where I'm from, you know? So that... These are problems that can be fixed. Yeah, that can be fixed, right? You know, like, you go to those places in B.C., go to, well, I got my dog in Anaheim Lake. I was doing some work in the First Nations Reserve up there. And there's people, there's there's a, there's famous hockey players who come out of reserves where people are so poor, they don't even have windows on their on their, on their their houses. Like, you know, it's... We value the wrong things, mostly. Yeah, yeah. And, and we can't do it. We can do We're it. We're not the people that's that's responsible. Like, when, when I went to uh, Publix, they have a sign, could you give five dollars or give a dollar to fight cancer? I said, Well, how about you stop putting cancerous food mm -hmm. and, 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 and toxic waste? On Eighty shelf. percent of the things on the shelf is cancerous and toxic yeah. waste. Yeah. You, who are you playing? Yeah. You, this is public. I'm gonna say the store, I don't care. Yeah. This is public, it's the grocery store. Yeah. I said, you can stop this before I can. Yeah. I can give you my dollar. But, but it's gonna go in a jar. Yeah. yeah. It's gonna go in a jar. Uh Acon did more. Mm -hmm. Then a lot of people did what, what I don't know how much money he took, but it, when you hear the money he took and made a real change, you'd yeah, be like, he, he took that much money and did yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. And he really did that. And and you know, know he's, 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 he's in Africa. He has a campaign called The Light or whatever, The Light, light of Africa, you know, mm -hmm. and he's he's doing something great. I, a lot of I see him in Africa all the time. Like, yeah, see, Toronto yeah. Raptors won the, the championship this summer. I mean, um, how do you pronounce the name? Nigeria? Uh, the Mas Mas Masai, yeah, Masai yeah, yeah. He's he's over in Africa all the time investing money. Yeah, stuff. a lot of yeah. people who have money do really good things. I mean, yeah. Bill Gates can afford to donate more money than I can. Yeah, me, me and my girlfriend, we run a furniture shop where we recycle old furniture mm -hmm. and we we sell like you know used vintage furniture, mid century stuff out of. You say you own it. I own it. <laughs> you own it. It's the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> she owns it. Say, I own it. She owns it. You got to say I own it. But like we, you know, we work our butts off all the time to make money and we try when people donate furniture to us we donate some money to Adelaide's place it's a charity in uh in new west that, mm -hmm. that helps all foster kids mm -hmm. and you know for us to donate 600 bucks yeah you feel, you, you feel good so, so feel good to give than to receive right yeah, um i think our producer say how many minutes we got right now uh but we want to do it there's so there's so much stuff we want to talk about man, we Hey, you put yeah, good people in the room. Yeah, yeah you know. Yeah, I, I think do do we still have more time over there? Because we got so many things on here, we gotta cover it. This is so interesting. Okay, cool. A lot of information on there, man. We have to 
there's there's two things we got to do. We got to say that we have more music coming out, and yeah. I have some music coming out with other musicians yeah, in this yeah. city that are very good. So we both got to get our Instagram out, okay? Yeah. Okay, and I got to get my furniture company's Instagram out. Okay, of course, that's yeah. how I pay my bills. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So so no, uh, we're gonna ask two more questions, and then we're gonna wrap it up. If producer can give at least maybe 15 more minutes, that would be great. I don't know how that enough time because okay, I, I there's some information here I want you to give out to young young artists and stuff. Okay. Some questions that I really want us to cover, right? So we're just gonna go a little more, maybe two or three more questions, oh, no. and then you got me. and it's gonna be all for you guys, right? So, um, you started music at what age? I started music at fourteen, and uh, fourteen. Mm -hmm. Wow, seventeen. Seventeen. Oh, it's not never too late. <laughs> it's never too late. So, who, who are some of the people that are really influenced? My grandma. My grandmother is Essie Lyons from the gospel group Christian Heirs. And she she was uh, the person. She had a, a full she had a full band. Mm -hmm. She gave me a keyboard. Told me she wanted me to play gospel music in her band because she, she said I couldn't sing. I tried to sing. I tried, I tried my best. Band. She said, "No, nah, you can't be a yeah. singer, but I need you. To, I would let you play the keyboard. Okay. You tap them keys. No, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> she gave me that keyboard. I went and bought me a beat machine. Well, my cousin had a beat machine. He bought a beat. He older than me. He bought a beat machine. He mm -hmm. brought it. We hooked up to the keyboard. Mm -hmm. We started making beats and rapping. Oh wow! And uh, I had a couple friends. We had a karaoke machine. Mm -hmm. We had a tape there. We hooked it up. Justin Cook, uh, Justin Caldwell, one of my great friends, mm -hmm. and we hooked up the karaoke machine. I started making all the beats with the beat machine, and the keyboard, and we started making uh, karaoke tapes. Took a karaoke machine, started making tapes. Two thousand and one. Wow! Mm -hmm. That's all that happened. Yeah. Uh well nothing that fancy uh <laughs> my can be that right <laughs> well like I grew up on a farm and my dad and my uncle were on the farm together and they would be on the barns and they have friends over and they'd be drinking and stuff and my dad would come in in the house sometimes mm -hmm. and you know he'd be a little drunk and he would you know he'd sing sometimes and I think I would say damn that guy's a good singer he didn't know it so it must be biological biological well, I, mean, I just so it worked it worked something like that you know so um. You said something about you know um, pricing your work, right? Yes. So somebody said, so how do you price your work? Right? You know, how do you really price what you do? Can you put a price tag on it? I don't put a price tag on it, but it's a billion dollar industry, and I want my cut. <laughs> That's all I have to say. He saw it with his cut. Yeah, I, mean, I want my cut. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? <laughs> That's what this it, is a billion dollar industry. They're yeah, making right, a right. lot of money off this music, and people don't realize how much money is being made. They took and made it where it don't make as much money. Yeah. I hate the streaming. This album right here yeah. sold 295,000 copies. Wow. Yes, this album, Buy You of a Madman, sold 295,000. Now it's streaming. I was getting $10 a copy when it was selling like that. Wow. MP3. MP3, yeah. yeah. Now it's streaming. They give me 10% of a penny every time somebody's streaming. And if you are doing music and you got a label or someone doing streaming, especially if you're in Canada, mm -hmm. You have to be so meticulous and careful that you make sure everything's done right. I released two albums on a label, and they made a mistake when they did their SoCan. So okay. nobody made anything. Mm. You have to be the person. You can't rely on anyone anymore to do stuff for you. You got to. You have involved. to know how to do. People don't take their stuff. job seriously. Yeah, of yeah. course not. But it's yeah, so ten percent of a penny. That's how you stream this album. No. That's no money. That's wow, no that's money picking up cans. Yeah. But, they, but this, <laughs> yeah, this, is, this is what they did to the music industry. Wow. Now, a lot of people are depressed because of that. Because, of that, yeah. because this is this is, this needs to be a way out. How, how would you feel if you was a basketball player, right? Mm -hmm. You know you're good. And you go to the court one day. They said it costs $10 to get in. You know you're poor. You know you don't got no money. Mm -hmm. You got a basketball. Your dad got you for Christmas one year. Mm -hmm. And you go to the court. They said it costs $10 to get in here now. You say $10 to get in here. Why? Because we charge them. That's just it. That's how it feels when I go to perform and people tell me uh, we charge to perform. Yeah. Well, you charge to perform. Yeah, no, they do that. I've never seen a plumber come and fix a house and say, oh, you don't have to pay me. Yeah. I mean, it's for a lot of people, it's a job, right? Yeah. You know, a lot of people out there who don't respect what other people do. Exactly. You know, they take advantage of the situation knowing, okay, you know, he's still trying to make it, so we'll take advantage of him, you know what I mean? Absolutely. And, and then when you make it, they be like, oh, Okay, can I get some? <laughs> right? <laughs> well, I'm you this too. Yeah. I got this song called No Parking Lot. Yeah. And it's available everywhere too. It's available on all uh, streaming platforms. It's even available on YouTube. Mm -hmm. And you know the music video is available. And my YouTube page is S A E N N U C. Follow and subscribe, like and comment, please. That's the best thing you can do for me. You do not have to buy my music. But what, what I ask is to subscribe. 
follow, comment, and like because yep. I got a, a exactly. business partnership with YouTube. YouTube. And okay. I got to have subscribers. Got subscribers. And um, all the all the information you need about I call always going there right here because of the <laughs> <you know, laughs> oh, oh, oh shit, no, <laughs> <man. laughs> You you been rich. All the girls, all the girls, you been like, you know, know, my name. (laughs) (laughs) But however, man, all the information you need is going to be right below the screen. And then check out the music. No pack and lock right there. And tell us what you think. I'm looking at the comments. I don't see nothing. (laughs) It's right there, man. (laughs) Put on your glasses. And, um, you know, leave a comment. You know, say something about the music. Say something about the interview. Say something. Like the page, tell your information out there too. Uh, all his information will be on the both both guys. Mm-hmm. The information will be below. Just follow the line below the screen. Everything's gonna be on there. And um, the new music is coming yeah. out. No so parking yeah, lot. Yeah, it, it, page. it's important that. But and, and if people want to follow us, like for me, I use Instagram a lot. Do you? Use I use it? Instagram. It's yeah. S A E N. Go right down. M A D. It's gonna be M A N. It's gonna be okay. I use Instagram as well. Yeah. And I want to give. I want to give a shout out. Can I give a shout out? Give a shout out. Okay. I want to give a shout out to Kenneth Quinn, the director of the movie, the staff, Kevin B. Hunter Senior. I want to give a shout out to him. I want to give a shout out to Ramondo Thomas. I'm working on a movie with him called yeah. Die Kingdom Come. Mm-hmm. And I'm also doing The Staff. That movie's coming out. It's, it's Mo and Moses. Yeah. You feel me? And I want to give a shout out to Jason Mills yeah. for filming my video today. And West. West and Jason Mills. I want to give a shout out to y'all. Thank y'all. Y'all the greatest. I want to give a shout out to Stephen North Sounds. Yeah. I want to give a shout out to Big Rich. In the building. All Always right. in the building, man. Mm-hmm. So time to give a shout out. Man. I want to thank you for flying up here twice. Twice. Yeah, twice. I thought you was crazy. <laughs> now I know <laughs> you're crazy. crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but I want to thank you for coming up. I want to thank you for thank you man. for being a part no of the community worries, and no stuff. Worries, it's important that we have a community yeah. of people who are like minded and want to do positive That's things, right? Because right? right. there's a lot of negative stuff in the world. But when people look past that, That's there's right. good stuff too. That's right. You know, it's just easy to get bogged down by the negative. That's right. So if people want to follow. Our Instagram, they'll see when our music comes out, yeah. and you're gonna see a lot of Vancouver in that music. Yeah, you're gonna see a lot of us in that music. Yeah. For now, check out the stuff he's got. He's a yeah. serious dude. Yeah. And check out. Uh, I just had a song, a video that came out this summer. It's yeah. called Puzzle. I'll awesome. give you the link. Okay, yeah. Give uh, I have every information. Yeah. That's got a bunch of people from Vancouver yeah. too. You might even recognize some people. Yeah. And you got the furniture, got a furniture business. So right. if you're looking I'm for, about the yeah. yeah. If you're looking to get the. Uh, Reuse furniture yeah. in the very good, positive, good shape. You know, like, you don't have to go to the store to buy brand new furniture. No, this is antique. This you is know, real antique, right? Good so, stuff. I you wish I, I, I wish I saw you, man. I will move and I have a big antique furniture, and I have I threw it away because oh my god! Yeah. I, I bought I bought this for I bought a I, I some bridal furniture. I bought like almost six grand, oh but I'll move it to a place I can care and I throw all of them. Yeah. even the bed. Everything, yeah, because it was so heavy. I just can't take it. I don't have a I truck. Know, I man. just put it, you yeah. know, put it out. Yeah. yeah, and if people need a hand, like if, if you're doing a move or something, yeah. and you got a bunch of junk, like we do junk moves too. We we save people hundreds of dollars on junk moves. We're so, talking about music here. I don't yeah. want to talk about junk moves. But you know, it's, it's a small yeah. yeah. platform, right? Yes, yeah, exactly. So you look, look in there and tell them and tell them people. that yeah about about that. If this is why we have this. This is why we have platform media. Yeah. These guys are in the community. Yeah, and they are helping people with the information and getting yeah. out there and, and and people sometimes people don't take it seriously because yeah. it's just, you know they do a lot of these things free in the for the community yeah. and people don't take it seriously and when it comes to the support they're like oh mm-hmm. this and that but when they want to sure. go cover their events and stuff then they go hey black for media same thing you're talking about yeah, right. right they don't oh, put I, value i perform or, for the stop the violence tool. there you go right okay i got a lot of stuff but i perform for the stop the violence tool. Yeah, yeah so if you want me to be on any platform that is charitable yeah. and it's a stop the violence or anything yeah. you contact me directly yeah. At Cyan Madman, that's S A E N M A D M A N. Follow me, contact me, tell me, I will, I'll answer it myself. You just right. let me know that you want me to be a part of it. Yeah. We work everything out. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, so all the information concerning the business, uh, the, the, the no, 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 parking, no lot. parking lot, all negative people, let them keep moving. And he got the bow of a mad man. A mad man. How many songs on this? 18 songs. 18 all songs. written and produced by me. Bye. But I got a couple of beat makers on there that I yeah. want to shout out. Kevin yeah. Kevin Rice. I want to shout out DJ Finesse, one of the greatest DJs. I got Bojangles on there. 
I got a lot of other singers and, and singers on there. I got Avery B on there. I, I want to shout out Silhouette the Poet. She's on my, my new song called mm-hmm. Losing Myself. It mm-hmm. came out about uh, six months ago. Silhouette the Poet, she's a great artist. I want to shout out Mad Man. Mm-hmm. He's a guy that's been working with me for a long time out of the L.A. area. Mm-hmm. You know, he was responsible for the No Parking Lot video. Okay. Him and Kevin B. Hunter mm-hmm. Sr., they was responsible for that video, and I want to give him a special shout out. Mm-hmm. So, well, you know, I you guys, one thing, yeah, yeah, one more thing. Yeah. <clears throat> and, and if you want to get into music, don't be afraid to to, to, to look everywhere for opportunity. Yeah. I meet people who do music who do the most incredible things. I, I meet people who who sell alkaline water. I meet people who start landscape companies. Yeah. You know, like you you can't be afraid to take a risk. Yeah. No one's going to take care of you in this life. That's right. Except maybe you know your family, but. If you don't got them, or if, yeah. you know, or whatever, you know, like you gotta be able to take care of yourself, take and promote care yourself, yourself. Yeah. and take risks, That's you know. Right. And um, to just you know, end the whole interview, always connect. Connection is very important. Don't stay in the house and think you're gonna make it. You know, try and meet good people. When you meet good people, you got good opportunity. That's right. And uh, you know, meeting these guys, you know, I mean, I met you, I met you, and now we're sitting here today, you know, and we now we hook up with platform media, and we're doing that too as well. And uh, also, I just want to say, come out um, November twenty third for the All Black Attire party at the Guilford Station Pub. I'm gonna be there in the mix. Um, I'm gonna be um, December fourteenth. My birthday, all red party. Happy birthday! Yeah, thanks, Born man. On Christmas I just turned sixteen, man. <laughs> <laughs> and I have an all red party. My favorite color. That's why I'm ripping this, right? And then um, check me out on US Eve at the Gift Station Bar. You know, I'm you just better doing fly my thing. up for Christmas. Huh? <laughs> yeah, man, it's too cold up here. <laughs> you told me all I can do is jacket. Okay. You said it's cold. What's up? What's up? It's freezing the other night. It is not cold. I almost okay. told you. This guy's gonna lie to you. This guy's gonna lie to you. This is real. It'll freeze right, you 75 man. degrees back home. I come up here at 41. <laughs> So, well, yeah, thank you guys so much for coming through. Shout out to Platform Media International. Check out our Facebook page, YouTube, Instagram. You know, click like Platform Media, share the page, because you know what? When you do that, you keep updated every time new videos, new interviews come up. And then, check, you know, go to my page to DJ Big Wish, click that, and then you keep posted on my, my shows and where, where I'm playing. But you know what? We invented it. The weather is good outside. We got to wrap this up, and we got to be out of here, man. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> Big Big man, bitch. My man. My man. <laughs> Thank you, producer Victor. <laughs>